Representing numbers. There are many ways to represent a number. In this tutorial, you will see how to represent numbers using base 10 blocks and by drawing base 10 block pictures. Please have a pencil and paper ready. Pause the video now if you need to get your supplies. In 2020, there was an estimated 3,246 cougars in BC. How can we use base 10 blocks and pictures to represent this number? You may recognize base 10 blocks from previous grades. Let's review them before building our number. Ones blocks are small. Each group of 10 can be snapped together to create a tens block. A hundreds block is made up of 10 rows of 10 or 100 ones blocks. A thousands block is made up of 10 100 blocks put together or 1001 blocks. How can we use this to represent 3,246 cougars? Take a look. Let's use the place each number is in to choose the right blocks. The smallest digit, six, is in the ones place. We can start with six ones. Four is in the tens place. Let's add four tens blocks, making 40. The two is in the hundreds place. We need to add two hundreds blocks. The three is in the thousands place. Three thousands blocks complete our number. What about drawing a representation of the number? First, we need to learn to draw each type of block. On a scrap piece of paper or in a math notebook, be ready to try each drawing. Drawing ones is easy. You can draw a dot or a small square. Try both. To draw tens, you can draw a line about as long as 10 of your ones dots crammed together, or a tall and narrow rectangle. Try both. The hundreds block is square like the ones block, but much larger. Each side of the square is about as long as your tens line or rectangle. To draw a hundreds block, draw a square like this. Thousands blocks may look tricky, but there are some easy ways to draw them. Let's take a close look at one way. First, draw a square for the front of the thousands block. Next, draw an overlapping square like this. Finally, connect the corners like this. Try it while I draw another one. Pause this video if needed. First, draw a square for the front of the thousands block. Next, draw an overlapping square like this. Finally, connect the corners, like this. Let's go back to our Cougars number. You can draw starting from the largest place value to the smallest, or from the smallest to the largest. We will start with the smallest. First, draw six ones. They can be simple dots or small squares. Next, draw four tens. They can be simple lines or tall, narrow rectangles. For the hundreds, we need two squares to represent the two hundreds. Finally, 3,000 blocks complete this drawing. There are many ways to represent a number. Now you know how to use base 10 blocks and how to draw base 10 blocks. Thanks for watching.